What is up everybody? I am back in Mill Creek Canyon. It's another day that ends for why, so I must be. And look at all the hydrophyllum oxygen town now. It's all finally in bloom. Producing those nice purple inflorescences. I told you it would happen. It is nice. This is, by the way, definitely oxygen towel and not capitatum. I was incorrect initially, but I mean, they do look a little similar, so please forgive me. Let's see if they, uh, this lovely purple flowers all around throughout the entire forest. Now, I'm sorry for coming back here so often. It really is maybe a little too much, but I'm trying to document all the changes in the seasons that you can see here and throughout the mountains. So I think there is some use in coming back to these same places over and over again. And come on, it's pretty nice here, right? You can't blame me for that. But yeah, let's see what else we can find here. So going back to something I talked a lot about with Hydrophyllum capitatum, you can see here on Occidental, the leaf segments are different. They have quite a lot more than five for each individual leaf. Um, well, yeah, Capitatum, of course, only has five, as I said a few times in previous videos. And you can all see the flower stalk on this one is significantly longer than the leaf stalk is and stands quite tall above the leaves. So those are two features you can use to distinguish uh, the two species, Hydrophyllum occidental and Hydrophyllum capitatum. So never knew when we got right here are these guys coming up over here. So that with the opposite leaves. That is a Positum antrocypholeum. It's a species of what's known as dogbane, colloquially. It is, uh, this is an interesting one because it's a member of the family Apostinaceae, the uh, milkweed family. And uh, it's got milky sap too. I'll pull one leaf off to demonstrate this. Hang on, it might be hard to see actually. Oh, can you focus on it there? Yeah, there you go, milky sap. Anyways, it's a member of the family Apostinaceae, which is a mostly toxic plant family, one you can definitely not forage at all. And uh, yeah, this, this one especially is supposed to be one of the more toxic ones, I believe. So don't mess with it too much. I'm, I didn't get any sap on me, so I'll be fine, I think. You can see there's just a ton of it coming up right here. They seem to love the disturbed soil sites quite a lot. And this is a native species, so I'll forgive it for that. It's not like it's an invasive weed that colonizes these places very easily. Like that salsify right there. God, I'm going to pull that out in a second. I was not expecting to see this plant right here, this guy with the leaves that look like this. This is a species of Philictrum, maybe uh, Philictrum fenlurii, but regardless of what it is, it is a member of the family Ranunculaceae, which is that same family that contains the Larkspur or Delphinium I showed in the previous video. And uh, as for characteristics that unite the family, there are not a lot. In fact, it almost seems like the overarching unifying characteristic is that there aren't any overarching unifying characteristics, which is a bit funny, but it is indeed a valid family of plants. Oh, the uh, Lomatium dissectum here seems to be doing pretty nicely. Looks like it's up to about uh, three feet tall, maybe. I said it can get up to five feet tall. I've seen that before, but that's not going to happen here at all. I'm afraid that this grass right here is most likely an invasive species in this forest. It is completely overrun with it along the trail here. But, uh, I mean, I, I might could be wrong, but I'm just going to assume that's a non-native grass species. But otherwise, it seems like most of the flowering plants here are native spuns. And um, although there is definitely a salsify and dandelion problem, I've actually been doing quite a lot of weeding on this trail. I've been pulling off, or pulling out salsify and uh, knocking the flowering heads off of dandelion and, and other salsify plants that I just pass them by. I mean, that, that's not going to kill them than knocking the heads off, but it will perhaps require them to spend more energy to actually successfully reproduce. So it's all I can really do. And I mean, I don't know, I like to tell myself it's making a difference, but who knows. Maybe the real point of going on this hike so many times and filming it is so I can improve my narration, because that's been the biggest issue I've had. And if I have a steady baseline I can work with, I um, can actually track my improvement. I like to think my narration's gotten a bit better, but I, I, I kind of am worried that it's still not enough, you know? And seeing this obvious member of the rose family with its white blossoms, on the trail here, and it's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a Amelanchier anifolia, and I say this instead of Utahensis because the leaves are over two and a half centimeters long, or an inch, which is, uh, the, uh, that's different from Utahensis. Utahensis has leaves that are shorter than that. The petals are also longer. They seem to be about nine to 15 millimeters in length. In fact, I measured them. They're about 12 on average, which is right in the middle. That is characteristic of anifolia, and uh, while well, Utahensis is five to 10 millimeters in length, and uh, finally, it's got five styles on its flowers instead of two to four, like 
Uthensis has. So I'm going to say it's almost certainly Amelanchier alnifolia. It, um, build maybe a little bit out of habitat considering it typically occurs alongside the riverbanks and this is just a random hill slope. What the joys of hiking on a public trail? Not sure what end I came out of, but uh, let's not think about that. really like the way the light is hitting all these leaves and flowers right now. But uh, I don't have much more to talk about here, and I don't think I'm going to find anything that interesting. I just want to show the hydrophyllum in bloom and see what else I can find so I can get something for today. But otherwise, yeah, see you next time where hopefully I'll be in a better canyon than this one. <laughs>